Hi everybody. By now you all have probably seen our teaser intro video. And I wanted to make this video to basically give you a little bit of background as to who I am, what Horus Watch Traps is, what we do, and why we decided to make this YouTube channel and what you can expect from it. So that being said, I'm going to go into a little history of my life, what got us here today, and where we're going. So, my name is Mark Margulies, and I started Horace Watch Traps in 2014, which is really crazy to think about. I was studying business, and my original plan was basically to go to law school, go to business graduate school, get my JD MBA. My father is an attorney, my sister is a doctor, so I come from a very scholarly background. That being said, I was always very entrepreneurial and I always loved business and I was always just kind of thinking about other ways to make money. So I had started other little companies and back when I was in college, I started getting really into watches well before the big Swiss brands were anywhere near as popular and mainstream as they are today. I didn't have any nice watches at the time, but I had a lot of friends in South Florida who, you know, had watches or whose fathers had nice watches. and. I always just had an extreme appreciation for the art form that is watchmaking. Whenever I would come back to Miami from college and I went to University of Florida, Go Gators, which is about four or five hours away from where I grew up, I would come down to Miami and I would be exposed to these nice watches. Even back then, Panerai was very popular among other brands, of course, and it was always kind of a culture to change your watch strap. So. I was, at times, going to stores with some of my friends, their fathers, to buy replacement watch straps. And I was always looking at the straps, thinking to myself, why are they black? Why are they dark blue? Why are they brown? Nobody's doing anything creative. Nobody is doing anything a little flashier, a little more stylish. And I used to be a little flashier back then, so I was always advocating for more colors, more patterns, stuff like that. But nobody was doing it. And it was not really a culture to, to put crazy straps on watches. So at that time, I had some experience marketing on Instagram, working with leather and stuff like that. So I thought to myself, I could easily start a watch strap company and make my vision come to life. So I started Horace in 2014 because of that. Like I said, I was in college at the time and it started as basically just a little side hustle hobby, if you will. When we started, it was a very simple website that we made that you would go on, basically choose your lug width, and build a, a leather strap. There was no rubber, there was no anything, just leather. And you would choose your leather color, your leather type, your stitching, all that. We'd make a strap, we'd send it to you. And it was a really cool business. Um, but like I said, I was in college, it was not my focus. It was a side hustle, but it was really fun. When I graduated um, from undergraduate, I kind of had this revelation that I didn't necessarily need to go immediately to law school or immediately to graduate school for business. I took the LSAT twice, I took the GMAT twice. I was always very scholarly and very studious and a great test taker. So. I had those test scores in my pocket, and I knew that they were going to be good for a while. And I kind of just went full force on Horus. I've always been into style and design and fashion and all that kind of stuff. And luckily, around that time, we were really in the right place at the wrong time, and of course working very hard at it. But we got very popular very fast. The reason for that is that we were doing very unconventional things. For example, we were putting, you know, an electric blue leather strap on an AP. And as simple as that might sound, it really wasn't something that was seen too much back then, at all, if at all, really. And it, it kind of broke the internet back when it was a lot easier to market on Instagram and a lot easier to gain popularity and a lot easier to gain people's attention. We were very blessed that, you know, we met the right people. We got a lot of very, very organic exposure with celebrities that genuinely just loved what we were doing. As we continued to grow, I always liked camouflage. Don't know why. I'm a huge nature person, which I'll get into. 
but I always liked camouflage. I have a very, very distinct memory when I was like a little kid of wanting a green camouflage t-shirt at the mall that my mom bought me. And camouflage wasn't really cool at the time. I started to notice that a lot of the designer brands were doing camo. Louis Vuitton started doing camo. Tom Ford started doing camo. Valentino started to get really popular with different camouflage colors among, you know, other brands, of course. And just kind of had the idea to do camouflage rubber straps. The first ones that we ever released were 24 millimeter straight lug generic strap for Panerai. Well, I should say mostly targeted at Panerai. Um, and red camouflage and green camouflage. And when we released those straps, the whole world changed for me at least. The brand just went from like zero to 100, if you will, really, really fast. Nobody had ever done it. It was a very novel idea back then, and we definitely popularized it. We started doing other fitments, you know, mostly AP, Panerai. Of course, we got into Rolex. And from there, we grew out the brand immensely, different colors, different patterns, whatever. You know, to this day, we have an extremely wide variety of different color straps, different color camo, and a ton of different fitments. So at that point, the brand started to get really, really popular. And I was living in Los Angeles, actually. Basically decided that, you know, needed to get an office, move back to Miami, and really take this to another level. So that's what I did. Moved back to Miami, opened our first office. Our first office was smaller than my private office that I'm sitting in right now. And that's what we ran the entire brand out of for a bit. Grew out of that really quickly, moved to another office that was like quite a bit larger. Grew out of that one quickly, leased the office next door, knocked down a wall, grew out of that one, and now we're where we are right now. That's a very shortened version, of course, of how Horace was started, but that, that's pretty much it. The team has changed immensely from the day it was started to now. I'm the only one that's still here from the early days. The team has completely changed since then. Investors have changed, partners have changed, but I'm still here. And I plan to pretty much always be here. That being said, today I'd really like to think of us as the world's premier watch strap company. We really have combined lifestyle and what myself and the team is passionate about with the brand. We have so many different fitments, so many different colors. We do very unconventional things. We market in really interesting ways. We have celebrity partnerships and endorsements, and we really are way more than just a watch strap company. And that's really what we're trying to show you here. And this YouTube is going to really explain where the brand is going and how this kind of all ties together. So why YouTube? Why did we decide to do this? And what can you expect to see on this channel? So starting a YouTube channel and documenting my life, the team's life, and just everything that goes on with Horace has been something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. The best way that I can describe this channel is going to be the world through my eyes. Horace is the foundation of my world. It's what inspires me, it's what drives me, it's what allows us to do this, and everything that we do in our personal lives and our travels around the world is in turn what inspires the Horace brand. I'm gonna give you a very, very raw look at our lives, what we do in the office, how Horace is ran, how we get inspiration, and just everything to do with watches, straps, business, and exactly what you would expect out of this brand. A raw look at the inner workings of it and how we function, how we make Horace happen on a daily basis. You know, I've always thought of Horace as a lot more of a watch strap brand. And this year we're taking a lot of steps to really go into making Horace into more and more of a lifestyle brand, becoming much more of an inspiration. And we're gonna show you how what we do in our personal lives supports that and drives the brand forward. I'm passionate about a lot more than just watches. I love food, I love fitness, I love cars, I love wellness, I love nature. I just love talking to people with different perspectives than me. And truly above all, I love travel. I really credit my travels around the world to making Horace happen and to inspiring my drive to continue to build Horace and to improve upon what we've done in the past and to bring the brand into new directions. 
I get extremely inspired by travel, and I really hope that by showing all of you what we do around the world, that it inspires you as well. So I'm really excited to take you on this journey. This is very, very new for me. This is new for all of us here at Horace, so we very much appreciate any criticisms, any feedback, and we just want to know, too, what do you want to see? What do you like? And I really hope that as we continue to build out this channel, we can meet more and more of you and, you know, just continue to see the world. So thank you for tuning in. We're going to be dropping a lot more videos and very excited to show you what we have in store. Stay tuned.